Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the new White Tech Dehumidifier. This is sold in several models and they are rated uh, for their capacity. So this has 18 liters for uh, 24 hours or a day. Uh, so that's the amount of uh, moisture that uh, it can extract from the air. And it has somewhere here a rating so that's 80 liters per day uh, at 30 degrees if you have a uh, humidity of uh, 80% relative humidity. Uh, what is uh, really interesting about this device is that it has uh, built-in wireless and it will not only connect to an app but it actually connects to the Mijia or Smart Home Xiaomi Smart Home app so you can integrate this with the whole smart home environment and you can use Xiaomi sensors and air purifier and AC controllers and so on and you can make a smart home that also has an integrated uh, dehumidifier. Keeping indoor humidity uh, in an interval between 40 and 60 percent is very beneficial to your health and this also helps you if you are in a very warm uh, medium and environment or you have a heat wave and you know that there is an uh, indice for uh, thermal uh, comfort which is measured somehow in uh, heat and uh, relative humidity. Uh, the fact is that uh, if it's very warm outdoor or indoor but there is also higher humidity you actually feel that it's more hotter than it is because of the extra humidity so using uh, an air dryer dehumidifier to drop the air humidity will vastly improve your comfort when it comes to the use technology here this is a compressor driven air dehumidifier which is the highest efficient type of device for doing this job there are several types of dehumidifiers uh, some of them are chemicals and uh, they are those small satchies with uh, silica gel that absorbs moisture. Uh, those uh, can also be reused by heating them up and they will dry out but uh, it's kind of complicated to use them because you need to actually dry them outdoor, outside, not in your home. Otherwise they will just going to release the moisture back into the air. On second place there are Peltier based dehumidifiers such as uh, this one, actually this is just a part of it, where it has two radiators, this one will cool down and will uh, condense the air and this one will heat up very much. Uh, this is not efficient, it will uh, use a lot of energy, a lot of power and the output of the condensed humidity is uh, very low so it's something like uh, maybe half a liter for uh, 24 hours while this one has 18 liters and the best uh, in uh, this uh, type of class of device is the compressor driven this is kind of a refrigerator AC type of uh, compressor it has a condenser evaporator and it makes everything possible that it condenses as much uh, humidity as possible. So in the back you are going to get this nice green mesh which is washable. So when this works it will not uh, gather too much dust and protect its internals. You are also getting a kind of a manual and extra accessory in uh, this box. So you get this tubing and you have here an output for this tubing. Uh, this has a water reservoir, water tank here inside, uh, which is removable, so you can uh, drain the water uh, if you use this uh, somewhere in your living room, for example. But if you can install this somewhere else where you can connect this to a drain, then you won't have to constantly keep removing this and uh, uh, throwing away the water that you have collected. And here's the manual. And the manual is only in Chinese, uh, there's no English language, nothing on both sides, so it's going to be fun. I hope that at least the app or the plugin for the app will be in English, we'll see about that. So I've plugged this in, I have turned on the Xiaomi Mi Home app and 
I haven't even entered the app properly as it already has detected this. So you need to have wireless, Bluetooth and location activated first. And it's the exact model that I have and I'm going to click on connect. Now it needs my wireless password so and network selection. And it's making the connectivity and I'm going to let it do that. You see it has some activity here. And device was added. As simple as that. And now I can select where I want to use this. I'm going to select an area for it. And let's see how this goes further. So let's get started. Alright, and I'm going to click on agree. And it's great that the app is in English, although uh, most of my Xiaomi devices and smartphone devices are uh, China based and I use the China mainland server. Uh, the app is still in English and most of the plugins are in English which is uh, perfect for me. Alright, so we get the option to turn it on. We have here some target humidity levels, light, beep, sound, cloud, timer and so on. And here, firmware update. There is already a firmware upgrade and it improves device stability. I'm going to do the upgrade now, so I'm going to have the latest version. And as simple as that, I'm now running the latest firmware and the update was uh, successful. Now I can go back to the settings, so I'm going to turn it on first. And uh, it has started up. And it's interesting that it pumps a lot of air, but it's not very noisy. It has a small vibration somehow and you could hear the compressor starting up but now you can only hear the fan and I really like that because I was expecting it to be a lot more noisy but it's not and you have here settings for the fan and you can adjust the speed and you have here the target humidity so you don't have to use the app you can quickly use the buttons here and you have indicators but you can also check them from here and here it gets more interesting you have some profiles here for drying up uh, clothes so you can put this somewhere where you have clothes that need to be dried out faster and this will do that you have options here for uh, toggling on or off the LEDs so uh, at night time you won't be disturbed by it or it will not draw too, many, too much attention so that's nice. You can disable the beep sound so no more uh, noises and you have this uh, timer and you can uh, set up here schedules for how to start and when to start and how much to run. Then you have this child dog function here. So if your kid comes here and presses on the buttons, nothing's going to happen and it will sound a kind of alarm. So you cannot even turn it on or off, it's locked. So that's really nice. In the settings here, you have uh, settings re uh, related to the Xiaomi Mi Home app, such as the location. You can share the device with another Xiaomi account. And of course, you also have automation. And here you can create whatever you want to so you can add conditions such as if and you can see here all your smart home devices and including uh, this including your uh, sensors and I can select for instance one of the sensors if higher than specified temperature or humidity so if the humidity is bet much more than a target then let's see here so if it's higher than and I can select the exact amount of humidity 
and I'm going to confirm then you can select this dehumidifier and I can power it on so you can do whatever you want with this app and of course if the humidity is smaller than a threshold then you can turn this off of course you can also set this to a designed uh, target here such as 50% which is uh, perfect for your health and then this will try to keep that at 50% so it's a win-win situation you don't have to actually control to when to turn it on or off you can leave it with that setting and working so as simple as that this integrates into the app and it can be controlled together with all the other devices and it's very easy to install and now we are going to see the performance uh, how well it actually dries out the air and how fast the power consumption is also not uh, very high it has around 250 watts 240 watts of power so that's not much in comparison with uh, Peltier uh, uh, dryers that have around 100-200 watts but uh, they have that power and they have a very low performance of uh, extracting water so they keep on running permanently with minimum effect. It's also worth mentioning that when the unit reaches the setup uh, threshold then it will power off and turn off the fan it will not continue to run it and it will cycle from now on so when the threshold increases to a preset number here so it gets to I don't know 55 or something like that and it's set up to 50 here it will restart and work and it will drop the humidity down to below 50 percent and then it will turn off and save power so pretty smart safety wise this is very smart it has a level uh, sensor for the tank when this fills up so it will not drain the water in your home it shuts off also if this is removed it will automatically turn off and signal an error that I have removed the tank and when the tank is installed back it will automatically resume so I don't have to always use the settings now it went back to working mode in the last preset so pretty smart with uh, that one if you are wondering how is the air here this will vary it gets uh, a bit warm uh, this works the compressor for some time the uh, air gets progressively warmer then the compressor will stop and the air will come out uh, cool uh, and cooler then it will uh, start again the compressor and so on so uh, it blows out a bit of warm air then cool air and so on so it doesn't impact the temperature in your room it doesn't uh, make it heat up or cool down it keeps the temperature overall constant and as a performance test and a final conclusion so it's been about one hour one hour and 10 minutes something like that since this was uh, started and it's been running up and from 58% uh, it has dropped to 49% 48% humidity and it has a target of 50% so now it's just keeping that and it will not go lower because that's the setup target so I'm going to turn it off now and I'm going to remove the water compartment here and I already got a lot of water I'm going to measure this so I'm going to bring a cup all right so I'm draining this and there you go it's 0. 3 liters of water in one hour and in this time I have played with the settings turn it on off reviewed it so it was not completely functioning normally so I kept the plan playing with that so it's still pretty good performance for such a short time so that was it for now I hope that you have enjoyed this video let me know if you have any kind of questions or other things that you want to know about this device and I'm going to try to answer to your comments as fast and as best as possible until my next video see you and bye bye now I'm going to go and put this on my plants and flowers